Hello everyone. In this video, I'll cover all the basics you need to know to get started with Procreate. We'll be learning about what Procreate is, how to use it, and what it does so you could start making your own masterpiece. Let's dive in. Digital art can seem like an intimidating field, especially for newbie artists. If you have always wanted to try your hands on digital art, Procreate is a great place to get started. It's an iPad drawing app that makes drawing and painting on your iPad a breeze. You might have heard of Procreate but you are not sure what it is or where to start, you have come to the right place. What is Procreate? It is a user-friendly painting app for iPad. Unlike other drawing apps, Procreate was created with simplicity in mind making. It perfect for beginners and experts alike. What can I do with Procreate? Procreate gives users the feeling of drawing with a pencil on paper, but with much more flexibility. In addition to letting users draw directly on a screen, it also gives them access to a variety of brushes that replicate different art materials like watercolor and oil paint so they can get the right look for their work. What do I need to start? You only need three things to start creating masterpieces in Procreate. An iPad, a stylus and Procreate which you can download from the App Store for $9. Let's tap on the T sign to start creating our work. You can choose from Procreate's default canvas sizes or you can choose to create a new canvas. To start, you can just use a screen size canvas. But when creating a new canvas, we have the option to choose our dimensions, color profile, time lapse settings, and canvas properties. Use reference images to improve your understanding of anatomy, perspective, lighting, and other aspects of art. You can find reference images online or take your own photos for inspiration. I personally use Pinterest for references. You can choose your brush size and opacity on the slider on the side of your canvas. The top one is for the brush size and the bottom one is for the opacity. Options to undo, redo and clear the layer can be seen on the workspace but you can also do this without looking away from your work using Procreate's gestures. Another thing that makes it convenient to use. Aside from the usual pinch to zoom in and zoom out, you can also pinch and twist to rotate your canvas. You can also pinch and release for a fit scheme preview. Procreate has another special feature called Quick Shape. It helps transform your wonky lines and shapes into their perfect versions. To do this, simply draw your line or shape and hold until it snaps to a perfect line or shape. You can do this for lines, arcs, circles, ellipses or quadrilaterals. Choosing colors with Procreate is pretty simple. You can choose between different interfaces when it comes to choosing colors in Procreate. To choose a color, simply go to the circle in the top right corner of your workspace. To fill a shape on Procreate, tap on the colored circle on the upper right corner of your canvas, then drag it to the shape you want to fill. Make sure that the shape is closed Otherwise, you will fill the whole canvas with that color. You can show or hide a layer by clicking on the checkbox on the rightmost side of the layer. Clipping mask and alpha lock work in a similar way, but with a slight difference. When using the clipping mask, we create a new layer first. 
Meanwhile, when using alpha log, we are drawing directly on the filled part of the layer, but only on the filled part. Let's take the moon we created as an example. Let's say we want to draw the shading on the moon. If we use a clipping mask, we are drawing on a different layer, so we will be able to move and modify the shading without doing any rip changes to the moon. But if we use alpha log, since we do the shading directly on the moon, we won't be able to modify it separately. And with the help of this tool, you can see I can easily do the shading within the moon. Like any skill, digital art also requires practice to improve. Set aside regular time for drawing and experimenting with different techniques. Don't be afraid to make mistakes or try new things. Remember, the most important thing is to enjoy the process and have fun exploring your creativity in the digital art world. Hope you like this video. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe to my channel. Thank you. Bye-bye.